There are two separate paths you can follow by making videos on YouTube. You got the fame path and the money path. And in this video, I'll show you the exact blueprint you need to actually make money from YouTube. Don't do it. Stop chasing views and subscribers. If you're building your own YouTube channel, you gotta stop listening to those YouTube gurus that tell you, yeah, get more views, get more subscribers, so that the sponsors can pay you more for saying, yes, use this VPN, use this website builder, Skillshare, glorified YouTube playlist. <laughs> not worth it there's a whole nother way of how youtubers actually make money i've personally been making youtube videos for 12 years and i've tried it all i've seen this platform evolve and i can tell you this from personal experience back in 2013 i made a viral video it has 12 million views it made me no money it took me eight years to figure out how to make a full-time living from youtube and it was only once i let go of the wish to be viral to be famous to have as many views as possible only once i let go of that i was able to transition into doing this full-time what i'll share with you today is how to approach youtube as an entrepreneur instead of as a monkey that dances to the algorithm. Talk about VPNs, yeah, <laughs> entertain us. <laughs> Ridiculous. So if you want your YouTube career to be based on freedom instead of a dancing monkey, then this video is for you. Let's go. Oh, and before I forget, this video is sponsored by my favorite VPN. <laughs> That's obviously a joke, but I am running a business with this YouTube channel. So if you would like my help to improve your productivity systems as a creator and build a whole setup that I'm going to talk about in this video, do check out the top link in the description where you can book a free call with me where we can see if we're a good fit to work together. All right, so we're going to take a look at YouTube and it's two paths that you can optimize for. Four. The first one is fame. The second one is money. Now, obviously, you can first get fame and then get money. That works all across life. That's how celebrities work. And then you can, of course, make money and then get fame. But I really believe that if you're going to play this YouTube game, you definitely need to optimize for one before the other. So the real power of fame is to open up opportunities. Maybe you even want to have a good reputation within an industry so that perhaps you get a job in a company that would be really hard to access otherwise. So fame can really help you open up opportunities. But money, I believe, is one that is more related with freedom. This is really the biggest opportunity. You are free to create the content that you want to create. You can work for yourself without really having a boss because the problem with monetizing your channel through fame is that you will end up working for sponsors. They will become essentially your new boss, which is a bit annoying, especially if the whole reason why you got into YouTube is to work for yourself. There is a money path that can lead you down towards more freedom, both in your personal life as well as in YouTube itself. And you get the chance to be a lot more helpful for the people that you want to serve. Optimizing for money on YouTube is not so much about views and subscribers, but it's about having a paid product and about marketing, essentially persuading people towards buying your product. Right. By the way, paid product, we don't want to be selling water bottles or hats or t-shirts or merch of any sort. We're not talking about any physical products. It's all about services as well as digital products. Now, most videos you will find about how to start a YouTube channel, they're all going to be about how to build an audience for the sake of fame so that you can get views, subscribers. And the way that you monetize all of this is going to be mainly through ads and sponsors. Here is where a lot of YouTubers actually have these limiting beliefs of like, I don't want to be a sleazy salesman. I don't want to spam my audience with like paid stuff. The irony that sometimes we fail to see is that when you go down this path, that's when you really start spamming your audience. Before you know when you're recommending your top seven favorite VPN apps and some skincare products that you didn't even know you needed, like all of a sudden you're just selling these things that you know your audience doesn't need. Like, oh yeah, you need Squarespace for this. Ironically enough, the more you get on this path, you end up doing a disservice to your audience because you're now spamming them with things they don't need just because this is your business model. You sell other people's products. That's what happens when you work with sponsors. You're almost an employee for the sponsor companies so that you can market their products. That's what I like about this side of things because then you have full control. You're selling your own stuff. You're not selling other people's stuff and you know you're not spamming people because you're building things that are useful to them. And then YouTube becomes your marketing method to reach your ideal clients. Why didn't you tell me I misspelled marketing? <laughs> If you take a look, there's some really small channels on YouTube that are making 10K as a basis of their business, right? So it's crazy. And there's definitely millionaires that have small channels just because they understand how to build paid products and they understand the marketing side of things. And by the way, this is paid products and services. You can choose. So let's break it down. There's essentially three paths that I would recommend. The first one is essentially one-on-one -on -one services. Then it's courses. 
And last is community membership. This is a subscription that your clients can pay for to achieve the results that they seek. Let's break this down. Let's go for one on one. So what does this mean? We're going to really break it down into the two main categories. And the first one is going to be coaching. And the second one, I'm going to describe it as a general term such as freelance. Coaching is a little bit more like mentorship where you're keeping them accountable, you're guiding the client to achieve the results. Whereas freelance is more like the client can outsource certain job to you. For instance, let's say video editing is one, copywriting is another one. Being good at persuading with words, you could do something like web design. There's infinite amount of possibilities. You can really do anything you want, right? The one that suits you is definitely gonna depend on your industry as well as your passions. So that is one on one. Those are the two main categories that I would describe. So courses is really nice. Now we're going to be talking about video courses and what you teach in these courses is anything that you have expertise on. So the skills here that you really need to learn is learning how to teach as well as learning how to market stuff. For now, I can tell you do not create a course on a tool like Skillshare. Anything that resembles Skillshare, especially if you're a YouTuber, do not make your courses there. These are my top three recommendations of platforms that you can use. So Teachable, great tool. You can't go wrong with it. Kajabi is a little bit more complete. And then School is another great one that I think is gonna become the most popular way to do courses. So school is a good choice if you do want to transition into this later. But yeah, more than anything, I wanted to recommend what type of tool to look out for so that you don't end up accidentally creating a course on Skillshare and ruin your whole life. So <laughs> that is what courses is. You essentially create something valuable that then in YouTube, you can make videos related to the topic of the course that you sell. That's what I've done for years. And then you can promote your courses so that people end up buying your courses and you're helpful to them because you help them achieve their goals in a way that's definitely more passive than the one-on-one -on -one coaching. However, in here, you can give people even better results because it's a lot more personalized. All right, so now let's cover community membership. Really, this is gonna be almost like a combination of these two, of one-on-one -on -one plus courses equal community membership. A community membership is definitely in a group setting. So this is kind of group setting and this is personalized help. That's why community membership is a mixture of both. So similarly to courses, you package something that is helpful. You can also do group video calls. You can answer your client's questions based on their needs. And really the best way to think of this is that this is you and this one client is another client and so on, right? In a community membership, you can be of value to this person, to this person, etc. But then what's really cool about the community is that this person can also help this person and is a very interconnected way to help each other. They have access to a network of people that without you, they would have never met. Because through YouTube and your marketing, you're gonna attract similar types of people. You build this valuable community where everyone can brief of each other and get value from each other's help, as well as from you directly, right? So definitely a little bit more advanced just because it does help for sure to have experience with courses and it does help to know how to deliver one-on-one -on -one services as well. Optimizing for money and building your own paid products is a nice way not just to make a living, but also get better results because instead of using your YouTube to spam your audience with other sponsors that might not even be helpful, instead you market, you promote things that are helpful to them because you know what they need and you can deliver those results based on their exact needs. The pursuit of money can definitely give you a life of freedom, which is not always the case with the pursuit of fame because fame doesn't necessarily lead to freedom and fame doesn't necessarily even lead to money. It could be a byproduct, but it's not what you're optimizing for. So this is really all about your priorities and what you want out of life. But I believe this is a much better journey to get into. This way, instead of seeing yourself necessarily as a YouTuber, you're more of a business owner, you're an entrepreneur who uses YouTube to market their paid products and to build this life of freedom. To give you an example of how all of this works, if you are interested to set this up for yourself, I actually do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching on all the topics that I cover here today. So if this sounds cool, do check out the link in the description that's going to give you access to my calendar where you can book a call with me and we can talk about your particular needs to see if I can help you with setting this stuff up. Inception, right? So yeah, that's how I run my business. <laughs> with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the call in the description below. See you later. Bye.